as you can. If you don't have, this is what I told them last night, if you don't have water and paint dripping all around your desk, you're not painting hard enough. Okay, I want to see some messes and we had some good ones last night. This right here is a highly sought after art supply. It goes <laughs> under here like this and you put your board up. Now you've got an angle so that your water can run. Again, when we're using, working in watercolor, we want it running, drippy, loose, blending. Okay, I'm going to take this big fat brush and I'm going to use, I'm just using water, I'm not going to blot. Just using water and I'm going to put it on about half the page, just random. I'm going to paint right off the edge. Again, if you can make as big a mess as you want. These tables can handle it. They've seen worse. <laughs> there you're on. Okay. Now, see where it's shiny, it's wet, and where it's not shiny, it's dry. Mm -hmm. And that's about 50-50, or did I get in too much water? Probably a little more. That's, that's, you know, go big or go home. Okay. I'm going to pick up a little bit of yellow. Make my juicy puddle, and you should always start with yellow because it's the lightest color. Once you cover it up, it's gone. You can't put yellow on top of blue and expect it to look like yellow. It's just not going to work. So, always start with yellow. Just disregard your butterfly. Just put some pretty colors on. Just think of this as background painting, okay? Wallpaper or, I don't know. Splattering's good. Okay. Clean my brush. Now I'm going to go to, what do you want next? Pink? Yes. Okay. Make my juicy puddle, a little more water. And even though I've got this great big fat brush, I'm just going to put some colors in here and there. I want it to mix with the yellow sometimes and make an orange, and some places I want it to look pink. Where it hits the dry paper, it's going to be stronger and make a hard line. And where it hits the wet, wetter areas, it's going to run more. I'll just put some on till it looks pretty. Starts to look like sherbet. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna use the blue. So we're painting on the first wash in primary, a red, a blue, and a yellow. You know, in theory, you should be able to get all the colors you want out of the primaries, right? That's, that's the story. <laughs> so don't worry that I don't want my butterfly to be that color. You're, you're gonna have plenty of time to change colors and add colors to him later laying down some pretty colors to build on. You know, you don't want all your strokes to be up and down or all your strokes to be across or all of them to be slanted. Do some different stuff. You can put this down and wiggle around. The less you manipulate it with your brush, the fresher and cleaner it'll be, which is kind of what I, I go for in a painting. Okay, I probably have too much on there, which is what I'm prone to do. <clears throat> you should be able to do this in about a minute and a half. You take a little bit of salt and just sprinkle it on there. A little bit of salt, a little pinch. And it's like feeding chickens. I say that to people, but nobody knows how to feed chickens. So you just kind of throw it in and let it bounce. You, you can't really say, I want six here, <laughs> two over here. It doesn't work like that. Just kind of go, whatever happens, happens. Um, and you'll see that like, um, I don't think the salt shows on this one so much. It does on that one. Yeah. See that lower left oh, yeah. corner, those little, uh, crystallized oh, yeah. snowflake looking designs that's what this does so now it just cooks for a minute all right any questions